I'm here in Miami Beach, Florida to visit one of my great friends and fantastic chefs, Michelle Bernstein. She's on everyone's best of the best list, and she just opened her dream restaurant, Mishi's, where she cooks down-home food with her fantastic flair. Today, she's going to show me what she can do with Thai basil and butter. I think there's some head-on shrimp involved. Let's check it out. All right, Michelle. Nice, Hi. nice to be here. <laughs> Thank so you. I'm so excited to hear what you're gonna do with Thai basil and butter. What, what's your dish? Well, I'm so happy that you gave me these two ingredients because they're so delicious that everything goes well with it. We're gonna do some beautiful head on shrimp um, sauteed in the butter with the Thai basil, a little bit of tangerine okay. and ginger and scallion, making it really, really simple okay. in lettuce leaf. Let's do it. Okay. What do I, what do I need to do? Uh, well, start off with the ginger. Okay. If you would peel and mince it for me. Okay. I'm going to add the butter right into the pan. Okay. Let it melt. It's like what, medium medium heat there, not too hot? Yeah, this is like medium low. I don't want to brown the butter too much. That would right. be another recipe. Right. So into the butter, I'm going to add the head on shrimp. All right, very nice. And you, and you must love head on shrimp too, right? Oh my goodness, I love it. All the flavor is in the head and in the shell, which yep. is why we're cooking it on the shelf. Got it. Well, so, that's, that's true for fish and meat, right? Cook on the bone. Everything, right? everything. If you can cook as much as you can, cooking on the bone will impart so much flavor, yep. as well as juiciness. Okay. Why do you live here? Just look outside. I mean, yeah. the sun's always shining. Porque no, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, if the sun's shining, we're all in a good mood. It's always warm. It's pretty predictable. And right. there's so much flavor and so much culture here. I mean, I was born here. Right. Um, I'm really, truly a Miami girl. That's great. And the food. And the food is delicious. There's good? lots of flavors, lots of cultures. That is beautiful. And the All ginger, in. just throw it right in there. Okay. We'll toss it in. Now, we did keep the shell on gotcha. the shrimp, but right. because it's de vein, um, obviously the ginger is going to impart flavor and it's going to get into um, the bodies and yeah. the meat. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it smells good. We're going to add a little bit of garlic. Right. Just some mint. Excellent. Garlic. Do I need to do anything with these uh, canned rings? Yeah, would you? If you don't mind, if you would segment them for me and then okay. dice them up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. So yeah, right. how, long, how long will those take? Uh, these only take about four to five minutes to cook. And this has already been about a minute. So we're really, look how beautiful they're becoming. Yeah, they're yeah. already pink. They already, you can smell. Smell the garlic ginger. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of lemon zest to this. Okay. Just to freshen it a little bit. And then obviously using butter, you kind of always have to shake the pan a little bit just to make right. sure that we're first of all cooking evenly and we don't want our butter to burn too much. Now if you get it a little bit nutty, a little bit brown, that's okay. At this point, I know it's a little early, but I want to add the basil. I'm going to add about half of it because I want to impart the important flavor of this Thai basil. And, and, how, we, and do you like the flavor of Thai basil versus sweet basil, or you like them both? You know, I like them both. Um, and you can use them both in the same recipes. I mean, they're both delicious. Thai right. basil being a little bit more intense. Right. And I love using the flowers from there as well. Oh, I think it's, well, it has a little anise quality to it, right? A little liquid flavor to it. Which I love with seafood. I do too. So you can I juice some of these things? I have all this great juice. Can put the juice into it? Why not? And we have this fantastic tangerine juice. Oh, that smells so good. All right. Now it's all about the freshness. You know, we're not going to bog this down right. with too much stuff. Um, this to me is perfect. I mean, honestly, if you were to tell me just use butter and basil, I right. think I could have done that with now pretty much this? anything. Um, all that, yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter if you have a seed or two. It's a couple okay. of seeds. Well, that's yeah. for nutrition. And so then you want your scallions chopped a little bit? Yes, please. Just a little bit for garnish. I love a little bit of a bias. And then these shrimp are almost there. I'm going to season them with some good salt, a little bit of pepper. I'm sorry I use black pepper. I'm not really into the white pepper thing. Oh, I like white pepper. Oh, good. Yeah, I, you know, white pepper, it's a different flavor. Absolutely it's a completely different, different flavor. flavor. All right, is that enough scallions? That's perfect. Inside? Go ahead. Voila. And we are ready. We're done. Yeah. Awesome. Now, we did some little lettuce cups, because I right. thought it would be fun. And these are kind of like peel and eat. Um, although, personally, I would eat the whole shell. Really? Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's good fiber. <laughs> so I'm going to put, that's good to know. I'm going to put uh, two shrimp in each little cup. Wow, look at those. Gorgeous. How pretty are those? And the smell of the butter and basil oh, yeah. is so enticing. Mm, 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 mm. Just like so. Shake the pan, just a little touch. 
And then I'm going right. to spoon this right on top. This looks fantastic. Now you can use regular oranges, you can use blood oranges, even grapefruit uh, would kind of be nice. I, I think any citrus would work. Yeah. Ah, oh, Michelle, this looks so good. These look awesome. Thank you. I'm so hungry. I think we have to enjoy them outside though. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Vamanos. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, come on, Michelle. Are you kidding me? This, this is, is the most perfect Miami day. Oh my God, it's paradise. Oh, it's paradise. It's delicious. What well, can we eat? You got some wine? What do you got we here? We have to drink first. Awesome. We've got some Gruner Veltlinder. I love it. And delicious Austrian wine. And why did you choose that with this dish? Um, very austere. It goes really well with spicy, right. with um, herbaceousness like basil. Um, and it's just delicious on a hot Miami day. A hot Miami day. Yeah. Cheers to you. Salut. Salut. Ah, oh, that's delicious. All right, I'm going in. These look so good. You can almost tell just by the smell. Oh my God. How good is that? <laughs> right? You, okay. you taste the Thai basil, you mm. taste the ginger. Yep. The butter, actually, to be honest, you don't really taste, it's not buttery, right? It's very light It's not dish. cloying, it's just there. Yeah, but you see the richness, the tang, the, the citrus, right? The tangerines. Oh. That with the Thai basil and the And a little and touch ginger. of the ginger. Oh. Mm -mm. And I love about this place too, Mies. Just going like here. <laughs> Instant wash hand wash, in right? Water. Who needs those wet nap things, Perfect. right? Awesome. My love, you're the best. To Thank you. you so much. That's delicious food. Thank you. Love Miami. All right, let's head back to the kitchen and cook a little bit more.